Oh man, that sucks. I forgot my damn wallet. What's up everybody? It's Tuesday. <clears throat> Excuse me, welcome back to Food Daily Stories. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and get that out the way. It's Tuesday dinner shift. It's 536. As you know, I'm not, I don't have silver tier. I'm at 44% now. So it's like I can't get a schedule. So I gotta get what I can get. So it's 530. I gotta schedule 530 or 930. I came out earlier. It was slow. I did one Instacart order for 816. Went to the house, got some stuff done, side job. And we do what we do side job not the other job just so you don't think something <laughs> um so we're on our way out we owe doordash 30 bucks um from yesterday they was throwing some doordash orders but it was like it wasn't good enough to pay back they tried to throw me a double pizza for four dollars i thought it was a cash on delivery it wasn't cash on delivery it was regular that ain't happening so what to expect Publix is closed on Thursday I'm expecting dinner shift to be pretty decent I'm looking between 40 and 50 I'm not really being picky right now between 40 and 50 um, paying my last bill today at the month so I get 13 days or 14 two weeks so I'm getting all my Christmas stuff done in those two weeks. Um, so yeah, other than that, 40, 50 bucks, I'll be happy. But remember, we got to pay back DoorDash. That's the number one thing. It's 30 bucks we got to pay back. You don't have to pay all back today, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Got a few orders here coming up here. Oh, I got one for my area, a double it's eight units but 1073 but it's a double for Publix. it's like that doesn't make sense to me why throw that as a double i mean somebody will take it because but it's kind of sucks you gotta deal with two customers for that type of money something they don't have if they didn't flat tip it goes under ten dollars and one's an asshole or something one's adding stuff it's not worth it if it was for one customer i would have done it but it's getting dark as usual here now for fucking nighttime. It's 5.30 right now on the dot. By 6 o'clock, it's going to be pitch black and shit. So, we'll see what we can do. Everybody's out too and shit. Uh, let me get out of here real quick. Hold on. Bro, it's like drivers want to drive slow when it's their time to get in. Like, come on, go. Jesus Christ. I swear some people buy their licenses, yo. There's no way everybody passes the test. Basic shit they don't even fucking know how to do. That was my small rant of the day. I got road rage, I ain't gonna lie. But I got good reason. A lot of dumb drivers in my area. But anyway, don't know where I'm going to. I should go to Publix or go to Pizza Hut um, two days before Thanksgiving. I know tomorrow's going to be crazy. I'm hoping Instacart throws a promo for tomorrow. We got a $13 Instacart here, but it's not for my area. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't count. So I got my volume all the way up, and it's not hearing that tone when they throw something. So. Be one of those days, I guess. They're trying to do some Grubhub shit. Speaking of Grubhub, I, I've turned on Grubhub today. The last few days, they throw orders, decent ones, but they're far. When I get my car washed, they have some over there. That's the area that gets busy the most for Grubhub. They throw pretty good orders, but I'm not doing it. I'm not driving from here to there. If I was there, some drivers will understand what I'm saying. Like, if you're here and you gotta go up 10 miles to go a mile and a half. It seems like a hassle unless you're gonna stay there if you're there great money if you're not over there and you gonna come back over here it's not worth it depends on the number there's been times Grubhub give me 25 35 to pick up McDonald's or a restaurant to go up there. that's a whole different story then I'll get an order on the way back 
but today and tomorrow I'm not really have a number oh shit I forgot my wallet I forgot my wallet y'all oh man that sucks I forgot my damn wallet I forgot my wallet I don't even know where the fuck to go into either This is gonna suck. Got my damn wallet, man. Oh, that's bad. That's all bad. I thought I had this shit too. Man, that sucks. That really sucks, forgetting your wallet. First time ever, and I'm not even lying. First time I forget my damn wallet. That's insane. This is crazy. That's crazy work, forgetting my wallet. That's insane. I'll tell my girl I'm on my way to get my wallet. This shit embarrassing as fuck. Well, not embarrassing, it just it happens, but not to me. On my way back to the house, forgot my damn wallet. Sent. Now I gotta pause. I might have to reboot my phone too, because the alerts are not sounding for me. So, this is the type of shit that um, makes you stay at the, want to stay at the house. Man, that's insane. You think it didn't happen with an order. That's a tough one. My girl's like, okay, she's probably like, damn, that never happens. It doesn't, I'm not gonna lie you, it doesn't happen. Oh, my shift's until 9.30, so I'm not worried about it. But I only work until about 8 or 8.30, unless it's super busy. But this kills the mood a little bit. You're wasting gas, too, to go back and get your fucking wallet. Unbelievable, man. First time. Been doing this job over five years. First time forgot my wallet. This should be the thumbnail. Got my fucking wallet. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles, guys. It happens. First time for everything, I guess. We'll get a fucking wallet, and then we'll be back and see what happens. All right, guys, so we're parked in front of Pizza Hut. We're back. My girl was waiting for me in the driveway with the wallet. First time for everything. But anyway, so I noticed when you owe them money now, DoorDash money now, we get cash on delivery. I'm seeing this whole time way more $2 and $4 orders than I usually see. They think because you owe them money, you're going to start paying back anything. See? This is what I'm talking about. I'm not going that far. I dropped to 43%. Um, they think because you owe them money, you're, you're in so much in a hurry to pay them back that you're willing to take $2 for 7 miles, $5 for 10 miles, this one was seven fifty for fifteen miles. You got the wrong driver for that. I'm not that much in a hurry to pay you back. I don't think so. Throw decent offers that are close, and then we'll go from there. I'm not doing that. It's not happening. Anyway, right here in front of Pizza Hut, it's been busy on and off. It'll say ten minutes, then go back to McDonald's. It's going back and forth, even before the ten minutes hot spot finishes from McDonald's to Pizza Hut. I can tell pizza is probably slow because I can see it's empty. Um, McDonald's was throwing orders, but like I said, the ones I told you, I'm not doing that just to pay you back. We owe 30 bucks. Um, I was hoping that Instacart will start getting busy. Somebody texted me and said it was slow, even though just because it's slow for somebody don't mean it's slow for everybody else. But, you know, when it's slow, it's just slow. So, we're going to grind this out. At this point, I don't mind <clears throat> a few cash on deliveries, to be honest. I do not mind a few cash on deliveries because it's at that point where um, it's slow. You know what I mean? So, so I don't know. 
We're gonna see what happens. I turn on Grubhub right now. You know how Grubhub is. That's, you know how that goes. Um, we're gonna see what happens. The shift is until 9.30. I took it just because it's a few days before Thanksgiving in case people ordering fast food or restaurant food because they don't want to make the food they got to cook for Thanksgiving. So but we'll see what happens. I'm going to text a few people, see if they're working. Um, and we'll go from there. So we'll be back when we get an order. All right, guys. So we dropped that one off. And then I got a Circle K alcohol, but it was just a pickup. You don't shop it. You just pick it up. It's 550 going three miles. But the good thing about it is we get closer to paying back. And it's 628. So that's the good thing. So that'll be what 1750. That'll be 1750 and we'll just owe what 1250. So that's good. That's enough for me to that's enough for me to get a um Pizza Hut order, like a double order and profit from it. So, at least that's the plan. It's going back to where we came from. Um, so, I thought it was going somewhere else, to be honest. But it is what it is. I kind of thought it was going close over here, but it's not. It's all good. We'll go take it we're not going that close to where we just was at but we're going to the same area so it's all good I ain't worried about it I hate when I driving people right behind me like close to the bumper when there's traffic it's so cringe as fuck man it's very cringe like what the fuck man so annoying. So I want to try to have this paid off by seven. So if I could come back and get another thirteen dollar order or something or ten dollar, I'll be fine. We'll definitely profit the order after the next one. But if we get a double somewhere, we just gotta grab it just to pay it back and make some type of money. It's dark as fuck today, I'm not gonna lie. After the holidays, I'm gonna be working days. I don't wanna work nights for a while. It's just, it's annoying going and coming back, going to the house and then gotta come back at night and feel like I, I wasted my day, you could say, it went so fast. Don't have much to myself. I do take a three hour break from two to five most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time I do. And that's what makes it lazy, I guess. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'm talking too much. Uh, we're going to drop this one off. We're almost there already, just a mile away. And hopefully you get an order right after. That's a good one, and we'll be done paying off. So, we'll be back. All right, guys. So, anybody that knows me knows I don't like wash, um, washing. I don't like shopping at Winn-Dixie. Winn-Dixie liquor, yes, but Winn-Dixie, I don't like shopping. But this $8 order came out for one item, which is for some roses. So, I'm going to go try to get it, you know. Either way, either way, we're going to see. They might not have it, might refund it. We don't know. But this will take us to $26, I think. Yeah, it will take us to $26 that we paid back. So we only owe four dollars after this. So we're gonna profit after this, and it's six forty-seven. So it makes sense. I wanted to do a, pay it back before seven, and we're gonna well buy seven, get an order by seven, and we did it. Let's hope they got the roses. They don't have the roses. We're probably just gonna get the four twenty-five base pay, whatever the base pay is. So in a way, I kind of do want to do this order to be honest, because that way the next order is a profit. So we'll be back. Oh, I hate shopping here. All right, guys. So <laughs> we dropped off that uh, flowers from, um, it was older, a dozen flowers from Winn-Dixie. Um, it was leave at door, but I went to the door and the customer, that well, I thought was the customer was leaving. 
And I told him, this is the address. I said, yeah, but that person doesn't live here. So I texted the customer. Thank God I did. He wrote me back. I mean, he called me back. And it was the house next door. I guess he made a mistake of the um, the number. So it was all good. Thank God at the customer, that lady was leaving. Because I would have just left it at the door. So thank you, customer, for calling back. I appreciate that. So now we're at what 2625 so now what that means is we're gonna profit on the next order it's 713 but I was already there at 702 just waiting for a call back but we got it done thank you customer if you're watching for calling back appreciate you all right so Pizza Hut just five minutes we're going right to Pizza Hut we're not even gonna play around we got an eleven dollar action. Uh, three items. Oh, but it's going to the. Oh no. Nope. It was eleven bucks, guys. We would have profited it like seven. But that Dollar General is far. I'm not going over there and coming back over here to go way more over here. But it's all good. I forgot I had the flashlight on on the phone. Everybody's looking at me crazy. So I'm gonna go back and get situated and see what's up. I'll be back. So for the most part today, the next order will give us a profit. I didn't even say nothing. I was like, no. Fucking crazy. I guess I lied about the next order to give us a profit. Um, it's slow on Thursday, um, Tuesdays for me. Some people is busy. Sometimes it's busy for me, but most of the time it's slow on Tuesdays. 722. Honestly, I'm thinking about the next order going home already. Since I'm gonna profit and save the gas for tomorrow and hit it big tomorrow. So um Here's a fight out of Burger King, but it's going seven miles. Not doing that. Not doing it. The next one either has to be a good order, like great money or good money, or it could be low number as long as it's close. Like send me towards the house, you know, send me home. I'm not going to be doing that just to pay it back. I need, I want to profit something. We only owe less than $4, so three seventy-five to be exact. So, that order for KFC was just three something. Crazy as hell. Again, I don't mind people when they say they don't tip. That's that's your prerogative. You don't want to tip. That's your business. You know, if that's what you believe in, that's fine. But just know a lot of people ain't going to pick it up. That's all. So, McDonald's says it's busy. So, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I don't mind going to the house and not paying this three seventy five, but I kind of want to do it now. I gotta go to Publix anyway. I gotta get something, so I wouldn't mind. Um, you know, I'm getting something from Publix too to go home. So we'll see what happens. We're here, guys. I haven't ran into hardly nobody that I know that does DoorDash and stuff. A lot of people take Tuesdays and Wednesday Wednesdays off, so we'll stay here. I think I know that person. But anyway, we'll stay here and see what happens. All right, guys. So we're pretty much pausing our DoorDash right now. I'm gonna head to Publix and get a few things that I need. And if I get an order at Publix, that's good enough. I'll take it. If I unpause DoorDash and I get a Pizza Hut or something, I'll take it. Other, other than that, regardless of anything, I'm going home right after. So, I'll pick up a few things now that it's late. 7.30, probably not busy in Publix no more. I'm expecting tomorrow to be busy. The day before Thanksgiving. A lot of places are closed on Thanksgiving Day. Usually, like, CVS and, like, Walgreens will be open. It's kind of fucked up. They'll be open and shit. Um, and then Instagram sometimes 
puts a promo out when you know everything's closed they, they put the best promos i think last year was like five orders 50 bucks or 70 bucks like that i will hope that instacart will do a promo tomorrow it makes sense to do it tomorrow you know get a promo in tomorrow that'd be awesome i have personally i haven't had a promo in forever ever since i left five stars no promos just per batch i've done a few of them but nothing too crazy so we're heading to Publix now guys if I get an order um, I'll come back let you know what's going on if not this could be the end of the video so hit the subscribe button I appreciate you watching until next time so some stuff happened I was coming to Publix to shop something for myself and I wound up getting a $13 Instacart, right? Eight items. Then I came back, got something for myself. $23 order. Ten items. Five miles even. We're on our way to go drop it off. Uh, you probably can't see me and shit. We're on our way now to drop it off. And I don't know if I'm coming back through here, but there's another shopper there shopping too. Um, maybe I'll get an order on the way back. Let's see what happens.